Hey, what's up, fellow vapers? It's NG Spots uh, on the ECF forum and a new vapor. Uh, just come in here to do a little review. It's my first one um, on the Mad Vapes acrylic mod. Ooh, fancy, huh? Um, costs about twenty nine ninety nine. Not with shipping. Um, pretty much what they send you is the just the acrylic. Um, no button, no battery 510 or whatever connection that you have. Um, it's just it's already pre-threaded and it's got the spring down there and the ground wire already done so you don't have to mess with that. And on the inside um, it's just a hollow cap. Um, with the gold rush, not the blue lightning one, he sends the uh, the top battery contact. It's just a disc with a slot in it for a soldering point, um, and he he throws one in there for you for free. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty easy. If you want to order, you order the Mad Vapes horn button switch. It fits right in there. It's pretty much what it was made for. Um, and any kind of connection. I think it's pre-drilled for a 510 connection. So uh, pick up one of those and a switch and some batteries. This one holds the 18650. I know the Blue Lightning one takes like a 16340 or something. I don't know. There's so many batteries. But yeah, it takes 18650. Fits right in there. Screws pretty nice. And another thing that's cool about this, they put safety in consideration. They put uh, these little vent holes. Can you guys see that? Yeah, for safety. Um, you can also stack two 16340s. I mean, you can mod yours whatever way you want. You can make it, uh, you can put a 5 volt regulator in there. You can put a booster in there if you wanted to. But I just wired mine straight. Uh, switch to the 510 connection to the battery contact so that way I can do 3.7 on an 18650 and then have the option of doing uh, 6 volts I got the 3 volt version of the 16340s so I can stack them and do 6 volts so it's pretty good uh, show you how it vapes here in a second I got an E2 on here um, doesn't seem to vape very well at six volts. So here's a Cardo um, on six volts. See, so it's nice, man. Um, one thing, if you want your 510 connection flush, um, you can drill that hole a little bit bigger. Uh, mine kind of sticks out a little bit. I didn't want to mess with it. So I just push it down until it stops, put some epoxy on there and sealed it in there. You know, I don't mind. It's not going anywhere. So um show you that 3.7 with the 18650 on my E2. I could find it. Oh, here we go. Right on the <laughs> right on the keyboard. So here we go, 3.7. It's nice. I mean, it's nice and solid. Uh, if you if you like a big PV that fits in your hand, this is awesome. Very cost effective. I mean, this is what uh, with batteries, charger. Uh, the switch, 510 connection, maybe you'll be running around maybe 60 bucks. But if you already have the batteries, soldering iron, everything, just the switch, the amp connection, and the acrylic uh, tube, it came out to about like 45 bucks, 47, I think so. Very inexpensive, very durable. Uh, you know, it might get scratched up. I don't know. I treat my mods very well, so. Um, it's it's good. It's nice. Take another little puff.
it's nice, man. I get some funny looks outside, but, you know, it's all worth it. Get a nice, reliable PV. It's great. Anyway, uh, website, www.madvapes.com, Gold Rush Acrylic Tube Mod. Get yourself one. It's bomb. Peace.